There are tons and tons of movies and books that celebrate love and people serendipitously meeting each other and then um, hopelessly falling in love with each other, especially at first sight. And because we've been fed this fodder on media, we believe that there is a certain manner in which people fall in love and then choose to spend the rest of their lives with uh, those chosen partners. So there is a lot of social conditioning around us loving love marriages. Everybody wants to have a love marriage and, you know, if possible, everybody would, right? But the truth is, sometimes people don't have an opportunity to fall in love. People don't have an opportunity to be in a relationship after having fallen in love because maybe it's not two-way, maybe it didn't work out, lots of different reasons, right? In which case you fall back on the option of arranged marriages. So arranged marriage somehow seems like a backup option that nobody really wants to take. Number two, arranged marriages by design involve a larger decision-making unit. There are parents involved, there's maybe an even extended family that's involved in the decision. But given that nowadays, more and more people are quite independent thinking, they don't necessarily live with their families, they move out for education or for jobs. The idea of parents getting involved in a decision well into your adulthood uh, doesn't seem very exciting. Now, your parents may not be involved in the decision, but the fact that there are several parents who are involved in the decision for people in the marriage market in general makes the arranged marriage market a little less appealing. So there's this whole difference in how involved parents are for different people that causes a little bit of uh, disinterest for some people who want to carry this out independently. Then the other reason is there is a set path, there is a definite outcome with arranged marriages. When you're going through the arranged marriage process, you know that you're meeting somebody with the very clear intention of spending the rest of your life with them. So that makes it less exciting in some sense. There is no ambiguity, there is no risk, there is nothing at all to make that whole process exciting. It's very vanilla, it's very straightforward, it's very efficient if in some way. So a lot of people do enjoy the ambiguity of falling in love or ambiguity of the outcome itself. Will the love result in a marriage? So people enjoy that process a lot more and somehow feel like just because it's ambiguous, it could be a lot more exciting because of which uh, they may find arranged marriages less appealing. Love marriages somehow seems a lot more thrilling, a lot more adventurous because you don't know what's going to happen, right? So these are some of the, some of the reasons why people feel like arranged marriages are less exciting compared to love marriages. The one thing that I would want to say is while arranged and love marriages might seem different in the beginning and they may traverse different paths from the time you meet somebody, eventually over a longish period of time, they sort of converge into very similar relationships. You will find that when you speak to people who have been married for 10 years or 15 years, you won't really know if they had a love marriage or arranged marriage because most relationships kind of take very similar trajectories and whether you had a love or arranged marriage might only matter in the beginning in terms of setting a certain level of comfort or confidence when you choose to marry somebody, right? Having said that, each of them have their own set of pros and cons and you know you would need a separate video for that, which I will make at some point. But for now, there is no reason to diss one route over the other. Uh, it is what works for you. It is what is available to you. And there is nothing inferior about arranged marriages in principle, although it might seem like.